Hopefully he can clear this one. It's not very convincing though, and it could open up here for Galway. This is Angus Callanan. Has support inside, but trying to get around his marker. Now finds Joe Canning, and the referee unhappy with the hand pass. And that'll be a free out to Offaly. Well, halfway through this first half, it's Offaly who lead. Picked up there by Tony O'Regan. And forced to drop it. Good pressure by Offaly. Here's Joe Brady. Brady turns. Pushes that one inside. Scoring opportunity for Offaly. Again, that aim for Dooley. Does well to keep it in. Again, facing Canning. And he scored! Shane Dooley's done it! Well, this player is such a special, special talent. And he seems to be getting the room here against Galway. Not for the first time this afternoon. He's been doing damage against Dolly Canning. Turned around too easily. The low shot beat Callanan. And Offaly are four points to the good. Well, so many people had written Galway off. Joe Canning now dapped the other end. Trying to get Galway back into this one. But that is a wide for Joe Canning. Uncharacteristic from him. It's Galway's fifth wide of the afternoon. And things not going to plan for the tribesmen. Well, Offaly have scored the last four points. Galway haven't a score since the ninth minute of this game. Good work again by Malloy. And this, a free for Offaly in a very scorable position. Shane Dooley stands over this one. Offaly are in control here. And Shane Dooley taps that one over the bar from the 45-metre line. It's Offaly who lead 2-4 to 5 points. It's double scores at Crow Park, 5 between them. Well, he's deadly accurate. Shane Dooley scored 1-12 against Antrim. And he's already racking up the points here at Crow Park. Foul there by Derek Malloy on Angus Callanan. And that'll be a free to Galway and an opportunity for them to get themselves back into this contest because they've very definitely been playing second fiddle so far. 21 minutes gone. Galway haven't scored since the ninth minute of the game. This is a big one for Jer Farraher. Galway need this one. It's a great strike from Farraher, but it's tail to the left and wide, and things not going the way they wanted to. Well, Jer Farraher, usually you can put your house on him for situations like that. And it's a second wide of the game. Galway have six. James Dempsey's puck out. Offaly in control again. Dooley is the target. Ali Canning gives it to Tony O'Gregan, and the clearance is gathered by Stephen Egan. Egan has support from Derek Morkin. Morkin gets around his marker and gets the clearance in. Kavanagh drops around midfield. Again, the breaking ball won by Offaly. Picked up here by Damien Hayes. Hayes, that meant for Irla Tanyan. Tanyan has some work to do here. Been marked by David Franks. Tanyan does well. Tanyan bearing down on the offly goal. Goal scoring chance. Cross the face of goal and wide. Well, things just not happening for Galway at the moment. Irla Tanyan has had his injury problems and just bearing down a goal there no support arriving went it alone and across the face of goal Farraher is underneath this one good take by Jer Farraher comes away from his man tries to pick out Joe Canning 
and I'm afraid the service into Joe Canning hasn't been good at all this afternoon but somehow Canning manages to win a free well David Kenny in there battling they're having a right tussle aren't they this afternoon and Kenny well can't exactly see what that free was given for but it's presented Galway with this scoring opportunity and it's Joe Canning to stand over it this will surely be a point he's happy to tap it over and that is Galway's first point since the ninth minute of the game almost 15 minutes without a score and Canning was never going to miss that was practice for him 20 O'Gregan gets the hand to it breaks here for Donald Barry Barry good ball finds Joe Canning now support slow to arrive Canning decides to go it alone and Joe Canning with a terrific score that's a wonderful point from the Galway man well there's been an over reliance on Joe Canning in the past but he's playing with a lot more freedom this season So the last two scores for Canning and Galway. It's put them back into this one. There's three between them. Now can awfully respond themselves. The ball breaks here. Well picked up by David Burke. Loses possession. Awfully have it back. It's with Rory Hanafy who drops it in. Trying to pick out the run of Joe Bergen. Well picked up here by Shane Kavanagh, the Galway captain. David Burke, long ball inside. Might break to Canning. It's Kenny who picks it up. And Kenning, Kenny gives it to Paul Cleary. Cleary, good ball down on top of the Galway full back and might break here for Bergen. Goal scoring chance. They've done it again. Joe Bergen with the goal. Well, history behind Offaly today. They're playing without fear. It doesn't bother them that they're underdogs. And so far, they're in complete control. Their third goal of the game, and it comes to Joe Bergen. This is a wonderful finish. Well, ten minutes to half time, I can tell you, awfully lead 3 4 to 7 points. That's 13 points to 7, and you couldn't have scripted it. So much talk, so much hype about Galway. And they're looking in real trouble here. Farrer is in there battling. And the referee will throw this one in, I think. Well, six points between them. Galway are looking a shadow of the side that uh, marched to league glory this season. Good pick up here by Angus Callanan. Has support outside him from Aidan Hart. Hart gives it in there to Cyril Donlan. Donlan being marked by Derek Morgan. It's a good ball in, but there's no goal with shirt there. Joe Canning was the intended target, but well defended by Offaly. Second opportunity here for Tony O'Regan. Has a look at the post, and Tony O'Regan fires that one over. Great score. Well, we don't see that too often from Tony O'Regan. Well, he knows what the posts are. That's a very good point. Galway needed that. Again, Dooley's the target. Ali Canning is out there quickly. Canning gathers, dances around the challenge of Joe Bergen. Canning's clearance, picks out his brother Joe. Joe turns around Kenny. Joe Canning bearing down a goal. 